Hello everybody and welcome on today's video. Today I'd like to get these three birches out of this uh, big uh, stone pot that I used to grow the trees a little bigger and faster. But I, I feel that I'm going to get this uh, punus out too. And so, well, um, I planted that uh, last year and uh, well, yeah. I don't know, maybe if I get it out, I'll have a look at the roots and then plant it right back because, uh, well, the roots were not fantastic, of course. Uh, I dug it out in the, in the garden. It was a little seedling for, from, I don't know. But these birches, same thing here. Um, I'm going to try to get this out and we'll see what we have. Okay, so in this pot I use um, pot ground and then um, sand, just playground sand and I always bury the trees way too deep uh, so that's gonna be rather tricky to get this out and there's all kinds of stuff growing here and I'm using this little tool here it's just something between a, a shovel and um, and a chisel and that's nice because you can cut round and you already are going to loosen some soil and cut some roots but I feel that these two are too close together these are the birches Okay, and I have to do better, I, I have to get this one out too. Oh man, this is really deep. I have to do something about that. I really need to give them more room here. Okay, that will do, I think. So these are the birches. Yep. And then this one. Okay. My God. Well, that's quite a lot of roots. Okay, so. So this is the prunus and, well, he's alive, that's good. Um, and yeah, well. I can't say a whole lot of good about these roots here. So anyway, I'm going to get off what I do not like. Um, and I'm going to get rid of the tap roots. And then this is really, really big. So maybe get it off at an angle and same here so this is really not a good root base at the moment but that was to be expected so after a year what can you do I'm glad that this tree is alive and I'm going to put him right back in the soil so because this video is supposed to be about the birches. Let's do this quickly. Well, it's raining now, so I'm going inside. Now, I have these three birches here that I uh, got out of a, a pot a few years ago. And as you can see, I've been training these for uh, a few years now in the, in the big pot. And I... I like birches, but they are, um, well, from a root point of view, they have one uh, big tap root. And yeah, another whole lot of radial roots. So, birches, they 
often grow in um, in in little groups uh, or even uh, in a twin trunk or tree trunk trees so that's what I wanted to do I'm going to put just tree together and by putting tree together I might have a really cool root base of course so it's gonna be some kind of fusion but this year I really want to start it well and I want to do it in a bonsai pot so I'll have to choose a bonsai pot but first I need to do something about the roots so everything that grows up or in a bad spot can be removed I'm also going to have a look at the taper of these roots and since they've been growing in a pot for a year or two now I think that the, the roots are already uh, strong so that I can prune back without too much fear so this looks quite okay look at this nice almost right angle so that's one this one well I don't like that root it's too high this is on top this is well it's not bad but I don't need it I have this one can get this one a little shorter Mm, don't need that one okay so shorten everything and then the last one might need a little bigger scissor here and this is supposed to be the, the main tree but I have a problem here because um, well, the roots, we'll see about that, but this is not good, this curve is not good, it should come to the other side, so maybe I'll, I'll use a, a wire. This root is coming straight up. Still a little dusty, but it's okay, I can see more than enough. Okay. Yeah, that's it's not bad. Just maybe this one is crossing. What's going on here? Oh, it's crossing too. Ah, I'm going to remove the little one here. That's better. Okay, and this I can open up. So let's try to uh, find a, a good combination for these trees now. So these are the three trees. And then of course, well, we, this is the big one, a little smaller, and this is the smallest. So this will be the front, and this is going to be possible, yeah. And then we'll have a second one, maybe here. And the third one in the back. Like so. And if I can fix it this way, I will have a really nice radial root pattern which is of course not a surprise because I'm using tree trees so I did tie them together with raffia last year and of course it worked but the trees will not fuse with just raffia I will have to do a little better so I'm going to use a wire if I can find the beginning yeah here it is So, I'm going to cut off a little piece, like so, and then I'll put this back together. Now I'm wondering if I should put 
So this is the front, that's for sure. If I put this here or the second one here, I think it's best to put the second one here. The root is, is much more interesting. And then this one in the back. It's only three trees, but it's, it's already tricky. <coughs> They won't stand still. Okay, it's a messy and difficult operation. Because this, this, this is important. Um, but the way I fix them now, it's the way they are going to grow and fuse. So if I don't do it well now, you see this is really not good. Um, it's going to be forever. So I really need to open this up. And make sure that I have a good root base. And the top of the trees, I'll deal with that later. Okay, so I can make another twist with the same wire. Like so. <coughs> it broke off, but just in time. So, is this an acceptable root base? Yes. I'm going to put this one in the front and then you can see this one on the side. So this one is not really poking at you. And then this one is on the side. Roots look okay. And then this one will form a nice back. Okay, so let's, let's find the pot. So these are the bonsai benches outside. Um, it's not a really, really big spot I have for the trees, but it's more than enough. And uh, it's anyway, it's all I can um, afford to do for the room. But um, it's a mess. I need to um, clean it up. So uh, how do I stock my pots? Well, I just have this. Um, I don't know where are they. That's not good. That's not what I'm looking for. So you see, I just use um, <coughs> corners here, iron corners. I, I don't know if it's on camera, <laughs> like so. And I stick it under the. Um, oh, that's the one I'm looking for. Yeah, <coughs> I stick it under the stones, and uh, I, I think this might be a, a good pot for these uh, birches. It's white, like birches are, when they are uh, a little older. So yeah. I'm gonna put this back. Just lift the, the wood, put it under it. And well, that's easy and doesn't look uh, too messy. I added an extra wire, a thicker one, because I'm not sure that this thing is going to stay where I want it to stay. And I'm going to put the trees in the pot now. So I'm going to start with a, a layer of substrate. Like that. And that's gonna be more than enough. Oh, no, maybe a little more. Like so.
So I don't want this big root to come straight at me. So I'm going to turn it a little bit. And I'm not sure if this tree should um, be in the center. I don't know. So the biggest tree is here. So I probably should put it a little more to this side. And that's where I should put my little mount. So I'm going to put the little mount right here. And put the tree on top. Like so. Okay, so now I'm going to try to sort out the roots the best I can. Try to avoid crossing roots if possible. The way you fix them in the in the early days is the way they will grow and then they will get thicker and then it's going to be a whole lot more difficult to position them so you really want to take your time to do this right in the beginning of course the root base is not perfect now but it's a start Okay, so I have a little root here that might become very interesting one day if I put it where it should be. Okay, so I think that is that's good. And I'm going to fill up the rest of the pot with this substrate now, which contains quite a lot of organic material. I'm pushing the, the front a little down because it's better when it's tilted a little forward so I'm going to work this in now maybe get some more soil and I'll be back when that is done so I'm just working the soil in now made a big mound and I took some quite wet soil because when you use wet soil you can push the roots down while you uh, put the soil in. When you use dry soil the soil tends to fall between the roots and then the roots end up sticking up. So there's no... Um, well I'm not sure if everyone has the same uh, experience on this but sometimes it's good to use wet soil sometimes it's good to use dry soil I don't know I mean as long as your roots are covered you can do it in different ways I think that's good and with the rain that we will have this afternoon it's supposed to start at noon this is going to be well watered okay so that's that's good it's potted up okay so this is the tree now it's well, not not really high but not really small but the problem that I feel that I have now is that the, the main trunk instead of going towards the viewer that's the main one is going completely back so I am not wild about wiring a uh, tree when it has to start growing but Every, t every year you wait 
it's going to make the the wiring a whole lot uh, more complicated so maybe I'll just do that one and give it a basic shape so it's not a thing about wiring a whole tree but just putting that main trunk in a better spot so I'm just straightening a piece of wire that I had it's quite a heavy wire but it's well, I'm going to need something quite heavy here so I'm going to put the the wire between the three trees to give it an anchor point there's a little branch here that I will not use but I don't want to destroy it when it's not necessary and I'm holding the base because I don't want to dislodge this tree now just planted it so that's an important thing when you wire you have to support the branch and then here is the bend so if you want to reduce this bend and bend it back it's best to have the wire at the outside of the bend so sometimes you have to adjust your your wire angle but I think I'm lucky and it's going to be good so let me see I want this to come this way so that's gonna work and then a little bit in the front like so that, that places the, the other tree in a rather strange position it makes him uh, I have to go behind the camera, I can't see this. Yeah. It makes the second tree completely in the in the middle. Which is not bad, but should have been a little more in the back. So maybe I can just wiggle this a little. Or put a wire here. So, I'm going to do that. Can make this a little more elegant and bring it a little bit to the to the front. Okay. <coughs> It feels like we don't have three trees, it feels like we have two. So this one should come a little more here. This is not too difficult, I think I just can push him with another piece of wire. that I can anchor around this one to give it a basic shape too. So now I wired the back and this one. I think that this might hold them very well where I want them. So it's now obvious that we have three trees. One in the front and then two in the back yeah this looks a whole lot better yeah so this is this is a good start I think um,
Now, of course, the rest of the tree will be uh, wired in, in autumn. The biggest tree should be the tallest. And I'm going to reduce it quite considerably. Um, this is going to be the new leader. And then this is the second tree, so should not come higher than, than this. And this is the smallest, so it should not come higher than this. Okay, going to reduce the branches a little now. The one that I had here that I tried to save is an eye poker, so I'm going to get rid of it completely. No, oh, yeah. If you try to cut in the air, you won't cut anything. So that's it. Well, that's an uh, impressive bonsai. Well, it might become an impressive bonsai. Now, honestly, birches, yeah, cool, and um, beautiful trees in nature. I really love them. They are um, pioneer trees. They grow everywhere. Seeds are everywhere. They grow like crazy, but they don't grow old, so it's very rare to find a 100-year-old birch. And they don't have a, a big taproot, so in, in storms and heavy winds they tend to fall over. The wood is really soft. But again, I don't need a hundred year old tree. If I can get this to grow for the next uh, 20 years, I'm going to be very happy because I will be quite... Well... I won't be very young in 20 years. So, that's it. I think I'm going to put this tree outside now, that's all I can do. Um, I think it's not that bad. It, it's looking quite natural, maybe I'll try to give this one a little twist here to the front. So that's, uh, that's the start. We'll see how it grows and then we'll do some adjustments when necessary. So, in the meantime, thank you for watching and see you next time.